Jess from Be The Change Tarot. Today we are doing our September monthly love reading. Now these are general messages, so they will not resonate for everyone out there. Just take what resonates for you and then leave what doesn't behind. If it resonates, please let me know in the comments down below. And if it does not, check out your other sign placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Information for personal readings is in the description box below. And guys, it is energy, so that means the roles could very well be reversed. And if you need to flip-flop them around for it to resonate for you, go ahead and do so. If you like the way that I read, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit the notification button when our mid-monthlies and our weekly check-ins are uploaded, you will be notified for those. Archangels and guides, please deliver very clear messages with a very clear understanding for my very beautiful Capricorns for the month of September in love, please. Show me very clear messages with a very clear understanding for my beautiful Capricorns. The sun card just popped up for you. Feeling happy. Whew. Maybe that's a goal. Maybe that's where we're at. I don't know. Let's see. Capricorns, very clearly, show me my Capricorns energy and love for the month of September. Show me very clearly the messages that need to be heard the very most, please. One more shuffle for you. Gosh, you guys want to talk? All your stuff's coming in. Very clear messages with a very clear understanding, please, for my beautiful Capricorns. Let's see what we have. Interesting energy. Really interesting energy. Capricorns are showing up in your reading. Very earth energy. This is this is the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a slow moving energy, but it's about foundations. It's about taking care of things. It's about responsibilities. It's a very grounded energy. And I think you're trying your very best to get into that very grounded space right now. To get your life together to get yourself to where you want to be. Something occurred in the recent past. Tower moment. Please tell me about this tower for the Capricorns. Please tell me about this tower moment for Capricorns. One more. What was this tower situation for Capricorns? Okay. Capricorns. The tower. Tower comes when... It is removing something from your life that is no longer meant to be there, that no longer serves you. And it really had you in your head, had you very stressed out, overwhelmed, overthinking, and feeling hurt, feeling a little bit left out in the cold. Now, I think you were feeling like that for a while. They're telling me that even when you were with this person, towards the end, even you were feeling like you were in this relationship by yourself. Like you were the only one that was trying. You were the only one that was giving. You were lonely even when you were with this person. But now that the tower came crashing down, now that this relationship is over, or almost over, for some of you, but for the majority, I think it's already coming past. The ending is already here. But for some of you, you're still in that process of it actually being over. Um, you're still feeling hurt. You're still feeling abandoned by this person feeling left out in the cold from this person and it's still keeping you trapped in your thoughts about them. Current energies, five of cups, grieving the loss of this connection, grieving the loss of this person in your life because you had such high hopes for this connection. You had such dreams for the two of you. They're telling me plans. You had plans for this person in you. So not only are you grieving the loss of this person in your life, and the loss of the relationship and the bond that you shared. You're also grieving the loss of your plans, the loss of your dreams. I think this person may have been giving to more than one person, not giving to the connection. 
at the very least, not giving to the connection the way that they should have. They were not matching energies. They were not trying as hard as you. They did not put in as much effort as you put into this. And I think for, so take it how it resonates for you. I think for a lot of you, they were giving to more than one person, at, in the very least at giving their attention to more people than just you. And I don't think you wanted to see that. I think that there was a part of you that knew it, but you didn't want to face the truth of it because that truth was hurtful and that truth was painful because you did love this person so much. You didn't want to see. You didn't want to. This is the energy of having your head in the clouds or not seeing clearly having, you know, rose-colored glasses, wanting to see the best in this person, wanting to think that they wouldn't do this to you. So your challenge is to take those blindfolds off See, she can't make her choice. She doesn't know what to do. She doesn't know if to, whether to stay or to whether fully release, whether to try to make it work or whether to go. She doesn't know which choice to make because she's blindfolded. She can't see. But what, what I always think with this card, what it always says to me is, at any time she can put down those swords and take that blindfold off and she can see because she already has the answers that she needs. She just doesn't want to look at them. That's why she keeps the blindfold on, because she, sometimes that's easier than facing the truth. Sometimes that's easier than having to look at what this person has done and knowing that you have to move forward when you love them so much. And it's causing you so much pain. It hurts. Three of Swords. Because you did love them. And you're trying so hard to not let your emotions just run the show. You're trying to bring some of the logic in this and find a balance between your emotions and your logic when you figure out what you want to do from here and how to handle this. But it's hard. It's hard to keep your emotions in check when you're feeling this much pain. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. So you fought for this connection for a long time. You did. You fought and fought, but now there's too much for you to look past. Seven of Swords, High Priestess, Nine of Wands. So you try to pretend like it wasn't there, give them the benefit of the doubt, but the amount of lies and deception and disloyalties just became overwhelming. It just became too much for you to be able to look past, to turn a blind eye to, to give them the benefit of the doubt. You tried to give them the benefit of the doubt because you love them, but it became so many that it became almost impossible to give them the benefit of the doubt. And you already intuitively knew, with your intuition, you already knew that they were lying. You already knew the truth, even though you didn't want to. A couple things here that I find to be interesting is that there are positive things coming in for you, even though I know you can't see that right now. And your person, the person that's caused you this pain, the person that has hurt you and left you in this position, they are going to have their regrets. That's showing up too. So they're going to have to deal with pain at some point for this too. The karmic justice will turn. Tell me about this judgment card. You're, they're waiting to reconcile with you. Or they will be waiting to reconcile with you. But I don't think that you're going to allow it because you're not going to allow them to hurt you in the way that they did again. Now, you guys have free will. You guys absolutely can do whatever you want. But they are going to get to a point, if they're not there already, where they are going to just be waiting to make things work with you. I think that they thought that you loved them so much that you wouldn't cut them out. That you would, never, that you would always let them come back. And they're going to be waiting for that. But I don't know that you're going to allow it. Because you're going to be in this Page of Cups energy. You're going to want to just keep things fun, light, flirty. You're going to want to meet new people, meet new love, have fun. You're not going to want... Two of Swords again. 
you're not going to want to go through what you just went through again so i think there's a part of you that's going to be a little guarded that's going to be a little you know held back who's only going to want to keep things fun and light and just have some fun for a while it's going to want to take some time to heal and recover because you're not ready to go through the things that this person has put you through now tell me about this nine of pentacles please yeah because of all the lies because of all the deceit, the betrayal, and you're just wanting to stay in this Nine of Pentacles energy. This is being single. This is being strong and independent and being able to take care of yourself and being content with that because you're not willing to go through the things that you went through with this person. You're not willing to do it again. That's why I think they're just going to end up keep on waiting for you to come back because they messed up. And I don't think that you're going to be very forgiving this time, Capricorn. Tell me about this Nine of Swords, please. It is going to keep you... You are going to be a little stressed. It's normal when you love somebody this much and have to cut somebody out and have to start over again. Have to make a new dream. Have to, you know, start dating again when you have to learn to do things on your own and be strong and independent without this person. It is going to be a little stressful. But you're being divinely guided. You have the temperance card here. You're going to push through that and you are going to heal. You are going to be divinely guided on your new path. And there's happiness here. This is your immediate future. Ten of Cups. Emotional fulfillment. Happiness. It does get better. You're leaving the conflict behind. No more fighting for somebody who isn't being faithful. No more fighting for somebody in a connection where there's no honesty, where there's no trust. There's so much toxicity here, and you're moving away from all of that. You're moving away from all of it, and you're moving towards happiness. You're moving towards being independent and being strong. This is a fierce strength. This is an independence, and not only are you just single and okay with it, you're single and happy, and you're being divinely guided towards what is meant for you. I know that this is a lot. I'm going to be sending you guys lots of prayers and love and light. But there are, it does get better. And it gets better soon. It's the immediate future. So things are looking up for you. And your person, it looks like they're going to be waiting for quite a while, Capricorn. Because I don't think you're about to let them mistreat you again. Alright, can I get two angel romance cards for my beautiful Capricorns, please? What messages do my beautiful Capricorns need the very most? Alright, so you have religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So what they're telling me is you're being called with a higher purpose. You're being called from your spirit to your soul to overcome these obstacles, to overcome this toxicity, to move forward onto your new path with a strength, with a fierceness. Finance and career, financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. So um, with this person, you guys could have had belongings and things together, and that might be a little bit, you know, something you're worried about right now is figuring that out. But with this Nine of Pentacles here that's coming up for you, this is this is, you're going to be good, and you're going to be good financially, too. This is financial independence as well. So if that's something that you're really stressed about, I really wouldn't worry too much about it. it. Things are getting better. Things are moving forward, and things are going to be working out in your favor. You're going to pull your two moon allergy cards now, my beautiful Capricorns. Ooh, too many. Archangels and guides, ancestors and guides, please give me two moon allergy cards for my beautiful Capricorns. In this situation, what two messages will help you the very most? Here's one that flew up. The answers that you need are coming. Full moon in Gemini. The answers that you need are coming. Clarity is coming. Ooh. It's time to release negativity. A full moon in Scorpio. So it's time to release the things that are holding you back. The things that are not good for you. The things that are not of your highest self. Because you're being divinely guided. There's beautiful things waiting for you. There's emotional fulfillment, independence, financial independence. There's beautiful things coming, Capricorn. Even if it doesn't feel like it right at this moment, there is. 
And I just got these, and I'm so excited to share them with you guys. So these are Archangel Oracle cards. So we're going to ask the Archangels to give you messages that will help you the very most. Archangels and guides, please deliver very clear messages. The Capricorns are going through a very hard situation at this time. What two messages could we give them that would help them the very most at this time? What two messages do you need them to know for the month of September, please? What two, what two messages do you want them to know the most for the month of September, please? All right, let's see what we have for you. We have sensitivity. Archangel Haniel, you are extra sensitive to energies and emotions right now. Honor yourself and your feelings. So don't, so Capricorns, you guys are notorious for sometimes shoving those feelings in a box, locking it with five deadbolts and kicking it under the bed and just pretending like they're not there. Honor your feelings. The only way we can release our feelings is by going directly through them. Feel those feelings. Don't stay on memory lane and dwell in the feelings. Don't post up a lazy boy and watch Netflix in the feelings for a week. But allow yourself to feel those feelings so that you can release them. Don't lock them up under the bed. You are extra sensitive. There's a lot of stuff going on right now and that's okay. Honor yourself and your feelings. Love yourself the way that you love others. Give yourself the loyalty that you give others. Take care of yourself the way that you take care of others. And be kind to yourself right now. You deserve that. Relationship harmony. Archangel Regul. We angels are opening the hearts of everyone involved. Arguments and conflicts are now being resolved. This is for you. Things are getting better. The conflict is going to be ceasing. You are being helped in this situation. The angels know that this is hard for you. The angels know that this is a hard situation, and they are here to help you. They are helping in this time. All right, guys. I'm going to be sending you guys so many prayers and love and light because I can see that you need it. If this resonated, please let me know in the comments, and I will send additional personal prayers for you. And if it didn't, I'm sorry. It's just not your message. I do ask my guides to give me the messages that need to be heard the very most. Um, if this did resonate and you feel called to do so, please like, share, and subscribe. And if you hit the notification buttons, um, when we do our mid-monthlies and our weekly check-ins, you will be notified for those. Till next time, bye guys.